Hi, I don't normally do this, but this election, like any other election, is really, really important, and I thought it would be important for me to give my thoughts on a couple of races that I think are of particular importance to our community. I want to talk about the race for House District 76, the race for County Attorney, and the race for County Commissioner Precinct 4. First, let's get started with House District 76. That race pits the incumbent state representative Norma Chavez against two competitors, Tony San Roman and Naomi Gonzalez. The reason I believe that this race is so important and the reason that I wanted to take time out of my day to sit there and give a message to you voters that live in that district is because we're now in an important time in our state's history. We're now coming up on uh, redistricting, which is something we visit every 10 years in this state and across the nation. It's because redistricting is so important that we need to have somebody in the state legislator, legislature advocating for this community that knows the legislative process, that knows how to deal with it, that knows how to be effective in that process. Now, let's face facts. We're a democratic city in a Republican state. So what we really need in the legislature is somebody who will fight for us and make sure that we get our fair shake and that El Pasoans have what's coming to them on the table. I can think of nobody better suited to do that than State Representative Norma Chavez. Her opponent, much like an opponent in another race, seems to be focused on nothing but negativity. While there are many well-founded critiques one can make of State Representative Norma Chavez, hell, I'm the one who's made half of them, um, you know, you can say she's stubborn, she's hard-headed, she's difficult to deal with, maybe she's not the nicest person in the world sometimes, but one thing you can you cannot say about her is that she's ineffective. No single member of the legislature has passed more bills uh, from the El Paso delegation than State Representative Norma Chavez. We now have new leadership in our state delegation, which is a good thing, but we need to make sure that we have a balance between that new voice and those new lead, emerging leaders with the experienced legislators that know the process and have a track record, a record of getting things done for this community. State Representative Norma Chavez has passed bills and got millions of dollars of resources leveraged to our community here in El Paso. And when necessary, she's even shown the ability to cross party lines to get things done for our community. Now, her opponent doesn't seem to be able to come up with ideas or an agenda or an independent thought really of her own and has based her campaign on critiques of State Representative Chavez. That's all fair and all, but ask yourself. Don't you want somebody who's got ideas, that's got a vision, that's got a plan for House District 76? If you do, then I think your vote, your vote is best placed with State Representative Norma Chavez. Now, I fully understand that my opinion doesn't mean a lot to many of you that are listening. But for those of you that are that 20% that are, or so that are undecided in that district, I ask you to take a moment and reflect upon the contributions of State Representative Norma Chavez. It's an important race. It's an important decision. We need someone who is battle-tested and can get the job done for our community. Now, aside from the negative attacks that she has leveled against State Representative Norma Chavez, there's another problem that I have with Naomi Gonzalez. She's received a staggering amount of money from the Texans for lawsuit reform. Now, that's fine and all, but understand this. That is a Republican-controlled organization. Now, if you believe that the values and interests of folks that live in the Lower Valley are best represented by the Republican Party, then by all means, cast your vote for Naomi Gonzalez. But if you believe like I do, if you believe that it's a Democratic Party that best represents the needs, values, and ideals of the working class individuals that live in the Lower Valley, well then, you have to ask yourself, why is so much money coming from one place to unseat State Representative Norma Chavez? And then when you think about it, her opponent, Naomi Gonzalez, really has one other big glaring flaw. She's a little on the immature side. Just watch this clip and you'll see what I mean. So, uh, before I begin, though, I want to say you know, two things about the gentleman uh, right here. Anyone that can wear a medal and cowboy boots with a suit, you know, I just automatically, they, they have my respect. So. Uh, <laughs> 